Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to focus on occasion wear because as we all know, the festive season is upon us and I feel like we've got a lot of events to go to from Christmas parties to get togethers with our friends or even weddings. There is a lot happening right now and I wanted to break down how we can utilize our everyday wardrobe as part of our occasion wear capsule because I don't necessarily think you need to bifurcate these areas of your closet. And today's video is in partnership with Linnea who I've been working with for getting close to a decade now and have been wearing the jewelry pieces for over five years. I'm really thrilled to share that I have a new discount code for you which is great timing because I think we're also beginning to think about what to get our loved ones for Christmas in addition to what we're going to wear and jewelry to me is always such a winning gift. It's actually what I quite often like to give my loved ones things that are really well thought out and considered. And I have a few new pieces that I actually think really lean in on this idea. But I want to give you my discount code first. It's Jamie Lee 65 and that will get you up to 65% off. And I'll have all of the information on screen and down in the description box below with links to everything that I share. But if you aren't familiar with Linnea, it is a really beautiful female founded brand. They're direct to consumer, which helps to keep the prices really reasonable. And they have a lot of really beautiful sustainable initiatives. My favorite being the fact that they use lab grown diamonds and also recycled gold and recycled silver. The gold verme that they use is with 22 karat gold and it is 2.5 to 3 microns thick, which is five times thicker than gold plating and up to 100 times thicker than regular flash plated jewelry. Now I did pick out a few new pieces from Linnea to share with you. You, and one being the Celeste stacking ring, which I think is really pretty with the white topaz gemstones. I think this is a really good base piece, especially for someone who does like to kind of mix up their jewelry on their fingers. And they have a really good ring sizer on their website if you're not sure what size to go with. But I also was really drawn to their snake chain bracelet, which is in the gold verme. And I think that this is really pretty. It has that nice adjustable chain too, so that you can customize the fit. So you don't have to worry about ordering the wrong size. And the width of this is not too thick. And I think it adds just that nice little dainty touch. And then I also was really drawn to the birthstone necklaces and I actually think that these make a beautiful gift. So these are in the gold verme and I really wanted something that signified my two children. So my son was born in March and my daughter was born in April. So I have the Swiss blue topaz for my son and then I've got the white topaz for my daughter. You can't purchase a charm separately yet anyway, Linnea, hint, hint. But what you can do is purchase each necklace and then you can do a bit of a layering moment where you have one on a shorter notch and then the other one sitting a little bit lower down your chest. Or you can do what I've done here where I have removed the charm from one of the necklaces and layered the two together, which I really like and I feel like it's just a nice way that I can have that little bit of them with me every single day. I actually wanted to also touch on the idea of how we are gifting items to our loved ones and I actually think a really great way to do this is to get them a little jewelry case too and then you pop the jewelry piece that you've given them inside especially if you're really splashing out and then you actually have some really beautiful jewelry cases in velvet so I will be sure to link those down below along with these new pieces I featured. I'm also wearing my new Evelina ring which I mentioned in my last linear collaboration video which is all about jewelry tips that you need to know and if you have not watched that then you probably should. I'm going to link that one up in the cards but I talk a lot about all the differences between the types of gold that you can get out there as well as silver versus gold jewelry etc so it's a really good uh, resource if you want to know a little bit more about building a jewelry capsule and that kind of brings me back to the clothing items that I want to talk about for this occasion wear capsule but if you do want to make a purchase from Linnea you can get up to 65% off with my code Jamie Lee 25 so I sort of alluded before to the fact that you can build an occasion wear capsule with items that you were wearing on a daily basis or that you are utilizing in your day-to-day -day life and honestly it's easier than you might think. There are a few key elements that can really determine whether an item is going to be able to do that double duty purpose of being perfect for day and then also wonderful for an evening event. And I think it might be best to actually just start with the key element to building any capsule which is to start with your color palette. And what you're going to see as I show you my own is that I really leaned in on those more cool toned murky earthy greens with little hints of silver and then I used black to ground it and you don't necessarily need to use black you can opt for a slightly lighter color if you wish but that was just what really felt right with the items that I selected so knowing that green was going to be my hero color that was where I started looking at in my wardrobe and pulling items out that kind of fit the bill and first thing to think about in terms of you know removing any bifurcation in your wardrobe is fabrication 
So silks, for example, are a really great one that can kind of cross over from day to night, depending on how you've styled them. Because if you think about it, if you're wearing a silk camisole with jeans, it isn't going to read as dressy or as formal as if you wear them with a full length trouser or some sort of heel. So in this 10 item capsule, one of the tops that I selected is a silk camisole and it's in a really lovely green. I've actually had this one in my wardrobe for probably five or so years now. It's from Grana and really lovely quality. I think if my code is selective, I'll leave that down below, but that was one I bought myself and I really enjoy wearing that for more of an evening setting. But you can easily see how this could also work for the office, especially if you're wearing a jacket to cover up your shoulders. Another consideration when you are looking at tops is the actual cut and also the color. So one thing that I've often found is in terms of colors, darker colors tend to read a little bit more formal just across the board. And the same thing goes for denim. If you want denim that looks a little bit more dressed up, always go with the darker shade because lighter bleached out washed out shades tend to look a little bit more casual. So the other top that I decided to include in this capsule is a black knitted top. And this is actually one that I do like to wear more of a casual way, but it's the color combined with the cut that make it feel a little bit more elevated and special and do lend itself well to being worn for more of an occasion wear setting. So it has this lovely curved neckline and that in itself is that drama. It's actually quite modest, but it reveals just enough skin and I like the fact that it has the slightly lower back as well. So you can see here how there are those elements of refinement. I also included three bottoms in this capsule and really you could actually tailor this back and have it as one or two, you know, a pair of pants and a skirt, but I wanted to show you two different skirt lengths. So we'll start with the skirts and this first skirt actually, I had purchased it with the intention of wearing it more casually with my oversized knitwear and I am going to link to the occasion wear newsletter that I shared over on Substack because you can see how I transform a lot of these pieces for every day and get a real sense of how they can work more of a holistic broad way. So again here there are elements components to the actual fabrication that make it feel more dressy. It is silver so it's a metallic so automatically it feels almost like a little piece of jewelry like the linear pieces that I've been sharing throughout. The way that it ties across the body it has this little flourish it's not just a simple cut and then it also has this kind of speckled element. The actual silver tone looks a little bit worn. It kind of has this pizzazz. It's really eye-catching. And often when we are wearing those occasion wear pieces, we feel that they have this special element to them. It's also a little bit more of a mini style. The other skirt that I included, it has some similar vibes. This one is a midi skirt, but it is in a high shine fabrication. I predominantly wear this one in more of a casual setting with a really nice soft sweater to help balance out the high shine gloss finish of the skirt and then either Mary Jane or a boot but when I wear it with a really high sandal and then pairing it with that singlet that I showed you earlier you can see how the actual fabrication itself is what makes it lean more refined, more elegant, and really lends itself well to a special occasion. The final bottom that I included is a full length trouser. And the reason why I say a full length trouser as opposed to something that is cropped is because they instantly feel a little bit more elegant and a little bit more formal than something that is cropped. To me, a cropped trouser can very easily have a casual component to it. Again here, I'm utilizing that beautiful color, so I'm keeping in line with that color scheme that I mentioned earlier, those nice greens, and the fabrication is in a wool blend so has a little bit of texture to it and I think that richness is something that we kind of crave when we are putting on something that is a little bit fancier and really what you will notice with the trousers here is that it is the tops and also the outerwear pieces combined with the shoes it's the overall whole look that helps to bring them up lift them and make them feel a little bit more special the dress that I have here is one that I picked up from a sample sale it's from a brand called Mato and I really like the fact that this is a cotton silk blend it is lined so it's not sheer and it has this backless component with strappy ties across it so really nice and adjustable and the actual reason I bought this was to just wear it with sandals in the summertime something that would feel really effortless and just look ultimately very chic but as you can see when paired with the strappy sandal it instantly lifts the outfit and it automatically feels more formal despite the fact that I can easily dress it down by just throwing a cardigan over my shoulders and calling it a day. Final two clothing pieces are jackets and again you could really just stick to one but I wanted to show you how you can include that element of contrast and drama. So first of all we've got the soft sage oversized blazer. 
doesn't have to be an oversized blazer, but I think when you do have a little bit more room and a little bit more give in the jacket, you have more freedom to play around with the fit. So you can see here in the cutaways, one of the things that I did was actually use a brooch and I've used that brooch to actually cinch in the blazer and wear it a little bit more like a top. I've also scrunched up the sleeves slightly and this really helps to expose some skin, but also it reveals that beautiful pearl bracelet, which has that tie-in with the pearl brooch and I think that that's a really nice way to kind of have a consistency throughout your jewelry pieces and also the clothing that you're wearing as well and that pearl bracelet is also from Linya and you can also get up to 65% off it in case you were wondering. An oversized blazer also can sometimes feel like you've borrowed it from your boyfriend or your partner and just throwing it over your shoulders is a great way to keep a little bit warm even though you know your whole look is really what you're wearing underneath. The other jacket that I selected is in a beautiful boucle. And so you can see it has this real tweedy kind of aspect to it and then the gold buttons, which instantly feel more regal and refined. The cropped finish of it also has a little bit more of a delicate feminine touch. It does just feel a little bit more special and it works perfectly with the dress that I shared earlier. Accessories, and by this I mean shoes and bags, are probably going to be the only area in your occasion wear capsule where you may feel like you need to go out and purchase something specifically for it. And that's what I've done with mine. For me, this is definitely something that I have been slowly collecting. So I have a few different alternate options. For example, I've got some gold sequin heels that I purchased almost 12 years ago now from Givenchy. And then I have some really lovely leopard print heels in a pony here, which I think I bought around five or six years ago. It was a little while ago now. And they add this really fun, wild element to my outfits. But the black pair, classic, and of course it's going to go with everything. Another great option here, if you want to think about adornment and embellishment, is to go with a shoe that has sparkles. So this has a lower heel, but it does again have that really beautiful tie into the jewelry that I'm wearing from Linya. And you will probably have noticed that I've also done a little bit of color mixing with my jewelry. So I'm wearing both gold and silver pieces. And one of the things I really like actually about Linya's Matilde earrings, for example, is that the gold vermeil is so creamy in hue that it actually works really effortlessly with the earrings. I'm wearing the Hilde earrings with them and I quite like the way that those organic shapes cocoon around each other and create a bit of a statement. And here is actually a really great place to play with your outfits and go a little bit louder rather than doing something simple like a stud on the outside or on the inside and then a slightly larger earring. Why not stack two bolder earring choices together to get something that feels really kind of magnificent and special. And then you could put your hair up in a bun or have your hair half up to really highlight your earring choices. Finally, the bag. You don't need to go OTT here. Something that is just a beautiful quality leather that is going to fit your essentials, meaning your phone, blue wallet, keys, and that's probably all you're going to need. Probably lipstick to touch up to and possibly perfume, but doesn't need to be oversized. And I quite like the bag that I chose here because it does also have a crossbody strap. So if I really wanted to, I could also wear it day to day where I want to add an element of structure to my outfit. Here you can see that tie in again with the linear jewelry because it does have the gold hardware and it really complements the 14 karat gold and gold vermeil pieces that I'm wearing. So there you have it, a 10 item occasion wear capsule wardrobe and how you can pull these items from your existing wardrobe instead of going out to purchase something new. Of course, if you don't black tie then it's probably going to call for a special occasion dress which I would recommend seeing if one of your friends has something you can borrow alternatively renting something or looking at a dress that isn't going to break the bank but I think for most occasions especially the ones that we tend to encounter on a day-to-day -day basis around this time of year these particular items will have you covered and you can really scale up and scale down the formality level depending on the pairings that you choose. And I really hope that they came across with all of the different outfit combinations that I showed you throughout this video. And of course, before we wrap things up, a huge thank you to Linya for working with me on this video. Again, if you wanted to treat yourself or a loved one to a beautiful new jewelry piece this Christmas, you can get up to 65% off using my code JamieLee65 and I'll have all the pieces that I shared down below along with a link to my top picks from the site. Thank you so, so much for spending some of your day with me. I hope that you're having the most beautiful week and I will see you in the next one. See you soon. Bye.